The Rebel is hands down one of my favorite multi-process machines that I have in the shop. Being able to quickly switch from MIG welding to TIG welding while working on a project just makes my life that much easier. But I get a lot of questions about a specific feature in the Rebel, and that is lift TIG. This is where the confusion starts. The lift arc requires you to touch the tungsten to the material. Then you're going to press the button on the torch and break the contact between the tungsten and the metal. That is what starts the arc. It is not a scratch start where you would drag the tungsten across the metal and it's not a high frequency start where you would hold it close and then energize the tungsten. You also need to turn the gas on at the torch so it starts to flow before you start welding. It's a touch, press the button, and pull it off. When you want to stop, let go of the button. The machine has two options for using the Lift Arc TIG torch. Four-step and two-step trigger. On two-step, you have to hold the button on the torch while you're welding. Four step is a little more complicated. You will touch the tungsten to the workpiece, press the button, and break contact. This creates a small five amp flashlight arc so you can move the torch into position. You then let go of the button and the machine will slope up to your welding amperage and you can begin to weld. Press the button again and the machine will downslope to finish out the weld. TIG welding is a very specialized form of welding and it just takes practice to get proficient at it. Here's a quick tip for you though. If you're going to do a lot of welding with these small coupons in your shop, tack each one of them to your bench before you start welding. It'll just keep them from moving around when you're trying to get a good beat.